Initiating startup sequence. Hi, I'm Tool Dude Tony. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of How to Fix Shit 101. You know, that reminds me, the riskiest thing ever said on television back in the early 60s was by uh, June Cleaver when she said, Hey Ward, you were a little hard on a beaver last night. Well, anyway, hey, I've got a leaky roof, and uh, here's here's the problem right here. I'll show you. Okay, see right here, got a main roof comes down, and then there's this uh, roof over the deck. Well, the way they uh, laid the shingles in and did the uh, connections between the two roofs created a valley area right there, which caused a leak that went right down into my kitchen. Screwed things up. Not good. Well, on today's episode on how to fix shit 101, I'm going to show you how to fix a leaky roof. Got to get all these old nails and staples out of this thing. This is what this is what was connecting the two roofs together. Worthless. Okay, it was a pretty productive day today. I was able to tear off every place where the uh, roof was damaged. I replaced the board that, that goes along between where this uh, deck roof meets the real roof of the house. So I pulled this off because I'm going to run the ice and I'm going to run the ice and storm shield up this at least eight inches. Get a good seal on this thing before we. Welcome to day two. Well, as you can see, it's a little overcast today. Had a little surprise last night. I went in about six o'clock, called it good. It's gonna, you know, get cleaned up, get something to eat. Took a look at the forecast, and all of a sudden they predicted rain. Go figure. Well, I had the roof wide open at that point, so that wasn't gonna work. So I got back up on the roof last night about seven o'clock uh, with a portable light out here was able to do a lot of the work to get this thing sealed up. There was no way that I could leave this thing in its open state as I showed you yesterday. Okay, so with rain in the forecast, definitely needed to get this uh, membrane back on. Sorry I don't have a video to show you uh, how to do it, but I can show you what I did. But basically I started down here at, the, at this bottom row with that storm and ice shield. This stuff is great. It's peel and stick, it's easy to work with, and it's got a sand uh, kind of a texture on the outside that makes it real easy to work with. I layered it up just like you would shingles, starting with the first row, then I overlapped the second row by about six, three to six inches. I sealed it up all around this thing, put the lead cap back on, sealed it in, again, shingled style uh, layering to make sure that it didn't leak, and it didn't leak. I highly recommend this stuff. Now, today, I've already laid the flashing back in. I was going to use some new aluminum flashing, but then I took a look at the old flashing, and it's actually uh, steel, galvanized, and it's in great shape. So I put it back up, and as you can see, it is over the membrane. So there is no way that the water is going to get in behind here and into the wall, at least not from here. So I'm going to start with getting the shingles put down right now. my bottom shingle in place so I can uh, push this down over makes a nice tight seal over the top of it so that I don't waste a bunch of shingles cutting them up I made this pattern that fits around this fits around the top of this vent seal I use this to cut the shingle yeah that's it get the shingle cut out with the u-shape went right around it there perfect now the water will come down over the other shingles just run right down past this all layered like it's supposed to be. We're perfect. Well, that's it for today. I didn't get as far as I wanted, but I got a lot done, and I know it's done right. I've got stuff glued in place. I've got it nailed in place. I've been able to integrate the new shingles into the old. So uh, we'll finish up tomorrow. Still have this section to go here. I may tear off some of that up, up even higher, and just keep going. I haven't decided, but this is definitely not going to leak.
I got looking at this uh, this roof up here above where I was fixing it and decided that it's probably be a good thing to just go ahead and pull this on off too. And with it off, you can tell that the uh, they didn't do a very good job with the felt underneath. So this is a mess. Stuff won't stick unless it's nice and uh, dust free. Hey dog. Okay, this was a productive day. Got a lot done. Got all the courses in. Got everything done except for the cap row across the top. I need to go buy that. I also put in a new vent on the top. See it up there? This one's actually spinning. The last time I put one in, it didn't quite spin well. I think it has to do with being level. So, hey, learn from that. Make sure it's level before you nail it in. Okay, this is good. And finally, put on the hip ridge cap row. That'll finish this off. And that's it. Roof's back in place. Everything's fixed. It's all uh, looking really good. Just like uh, like nothing ever happened. It's just the way you want it. Well, I'm Tool Dude Tony. I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of How to Fix Shit 101. Uh, remember, if you want to see other videos on how to fix other shit, check my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Tool Dude Tony. And uh, remember, if you're not fixing it yourself, you're paying somebody else to fix it. So get out there and fix something. Okay, so what I was saying was, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, this was, I don't know, does this look great? Can you see me? And I, oh, that kills me. Ow. Yeah, getting old sucks. Okay, I've been doing my, uh, cap, my rope, uh, insurance company. Oh, there's another one I'd love to, yeah, insurance company. Yeah, read between the lines. Oh, check this out. Oh, set on a nail. Did you see that? It was in my pants. That hurts.